Hey you guys, so girl do not, do not, I know you probably confused, why does she have on Christmas stuff, we thought it was the summertime, it is, it is, but I'm comfortable. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I basically detangle my hair, I know I have several videos on how I detangle my hair, but it's been a while, it's been a couple of years. So this is just a basic detangling routine, no pre-poo, no special ingredients, none of that, okay, we're going to use just very simple, affordable products products that you could find at your local store, whatever. So my hair was in many twists. <sighs> my hair was in many twists for two weeks. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get that out. So one of the first things I do, of course, is to separate my hair. Now I do have some of these hair accessories in that I was just too lazy to take out. I'm just being real with y'all. Um, so I know personally that there are some areas in my hair that are extremely, I don't want to say it's tangled, it's matted. And it's matted in the middle of the hair shaft because I was being lazy and didn't want to properly detangle my hair. So one of the first things I'm going to do is separate my hair and um, then we're gonna apply what I'm using. But before we do, let me go over what I'm using. So I have here coconut oil that I have melted down. I know the light's a little glaring. I've melted that down in a bowl. Now coconut oil is typically not my friend. I only use this when I detangle or if I'm gonna be rinsing out my hair. I rarely use coconut oil as a leave-in oil. No, we, she's not my friend. And then we have a conditioner, Suave, tropical conditioner. Love the stuff, very affordable. I'm here for it. And then I have some water and a spray bottle. That is it, y'all, because it's the process, okay? All right, and I have hair clips here, and I have uh, a number of different detangling tools, but please keep in mind that I will be mostly finger detangling, and then I will go in with a comb. So I have a wooden comb, <clears throat> a wide tooth comb, and then we have the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Now I will be linking, I have videos on all of this stuff, even comparison videos. So I will be linking that all in the cards. Now girl, I know I get some comments that are like, oh, I can't wait, you know, to get your length. <laughs> are you sure about that? Because when you get this length, bear in mind that you also have to detangle and wash and if you want to look cute, style this length, okay? So I'm going to turn around to the back, y'all, and I can feel, I'm feeling, I'm expecting my hair, and I can feel some knots towards the end, too, okay? So, um, yeah. Now, it's not that bad back here. I think the matted hair is mostly on this side. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Um, I'm going to try to unravel some of these sections before, you know, unravel some of the twists, excuse me. What is that? See, I can see some, I can feel something that feels my hair isn't locking up. Thank God. But I need to be careful because another week and she would start locking up. Okay. I'm just going through the mixture that I have all the twists down because I know for a fact, see, y'all, you can't be lazy. I did not unravel some of these twists all the way through. <laughs> Praying to Jesus. What the hell is that? You see what I'm saying? I feel a bobby pin. Is there a bobby? All right. All right, you guys. There's what we're going to be working with, okay? So let's just start sectioning off. this 
Okay, y'all. Now, for a warning, I'm just going to be applying the mixture into my hair. I'm going to let this sit in my hair a couple of hours, and then I'm going to come back on cam to properly detangle. Um, so, we're going to split this up even more. I'm going to lightly spray my hair with water. Okay. Squeeze that in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now, I personally don't want my hair soaking wet, okay? And this is okay. And this honestly could probably be, you know, divided up into another section, but we ain't gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna apply the conditioner. And then I'm gonna dip my hands into the oil here and we're going to bring that down the hair shaft too. We twist this up in a large twist. And we're gonna do that for each section, okay? my hair more with some water not a lot and now I took one big handful of conditioner and now what I'm gonna do I already have shedded hair coming out I'm going to clip my hair up okay oh yay four clips girl what's going on Going on a plastic cap. Baby, she's done. Look at it. This is so damn loose. Excuse my language. And then put on a bonnet. Okay. See? All right. Now, I'm, not, I'm not going nowhere, Monique. Uh, I'm saying. Honestly, I'm gonna be staying inside the house and um, yeah, a couple of hours, okay? And then that's when, once it's been sitting in there, heat up a little bit, that's when I'm gonna be taking down each section and finger detangle and then go in with one of my tools here to further detangle, okay? All right, you guys, so it has been a couple of hours. As you can tell, I actually took off the plastic and just left the bonnet on. I'm gonna start at the back of my hair because this, this is the struggle section. Um, just separate my hair in smaller sections and I'm gonna go in first to finger detangle and then I'm gonna go in with a comb. 
I think it's very crucial that you ensure that you properly detangle your hair because what happens you guys how you end up with extremely matted hair is if you do not detangle your hair properly and you go in with a shampoo that can cause the matte and tangles to be even worse um so i have noticed the past year since i've been really taking care with uh detangling my hair cleansing my hair properly and just overall taking care of my hair. My hair is not as matted. I also ensure, especially when my hair is in twists, that my hair is properly moisturized, especially at the roots. Roots, excuse me. So you, as you can see here, I use several different type of detangling tools. This right here is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. My favorite detangling tool has to be the wooden comb. I will be linking in the cards all of the different type of detangling um, videos I've done in the past, okay? guys so that was some shedded hair there so one of the great things or benefits I should say about finger detangling is that you can actually feel where the areas um, are matted you can feel where the problems are at within your hair as opposed to using a tool first which is why I prefer to finger detangle first then I follow up like I said with a comb so just doing the front of my hair now the front of my hair is not so bad it's actually a different texture so it's not as matted but I do know there were some sections that were a little bit hard like down the middle of my hair shaft which is very odd so anyway just continuing here to um, go through my hair and y'all I'm gonna end this video fairly soon this entire process though took me only I'm going to say only it only took me one and a half hours which is not bad so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching take care bye